So, so what, what really makes Tutor to be a, a menace to farmers? One of the things that uh, farmers don't realize is uh, Tutor is hard to control because of the development of resistance. And uh, in, uh, in just a nutshell, what resistance is, is uh, I remember when uh, I used to go to school, primary school then, and uh, I'm, I'm quite sure that uh, most of you shared the same sentiments, that uh, you would really easily adapt to some of the methods that uh, teachers would use to, to discipline uh, kids when they would do something wrong, either making noise or coming late. So if you go to a new school, or if you went to a new school and uh, found that teacher X would definitely give you two strokes of the cane when you got late, then by the time you're getting to the next class, you would have adapted to this. And adaptation came in different ways. Either you knew that the teacher would come through a certain door or a certain gate and you'd use a different gate, or you'd know that since you'd just give you two strokes of a cane, then what, what some of us did was to go and get a piece of a mattress and, uh, and just sew it very well on uh, the buttocks part of, uh, of, the, of the shots. So what really happened is by the time the teacher was giving you the two strokes of the cane, you had adopted and uh, ensured that by the time he's giving you those strokes of the cane, you felt nothing. And this is exactly what tutor does. That it realizes that the farmers are handling it in a certain way. And the tutor easily adapts to that way, so that by the time you're going back to the farm with the same way, the tutor enjoys the scene that you introduce into the farm. So there's nothing that really affects them by the time they are developing resistance towards a specific way of acting, of controlling them that maybe you used to. So before you attack or before you control the tutor, you really need to understand how the the resistance develops and. Uh, how you're going to integrate the different management techniques into ensuring that you're breaking this resistance. So resistance is what makes tutor uh, hard to control. And one thing is resistance in tutor develops very fast. And the funny thing is that um, resistance develops within uh, about 24 to 30 days. That's the minimum. Because that's what the life cycle, that's the, the time that uh, the complete life, life cycle takes takes uh, that is from from egg larvae pupa and then adult so by the time 30 days are, uh, are over then this life cycle is complete and maybe the next generation are adopted to to the mode of uh, control that maybe you're used to so you really need to know that tutor takes a very short time to complete the life cycle and uh, it's interesting because the higher the temperature the shorter the life cycle and uh, the lower the temperatures, the longer the life cycle. And most farmers will say that when it starts raining, then the tutor is, is controlled by the rain. It's basically because the temperatures are always lower. So you would not see the, the prevalence or the, the, the tutor becoming so uh, hard, hard on farmers during this period of cold temperature. So that's about the, the, man, uh, the management of tutor, but basically on uh, resistance. So once you understand how resistance develops, then you go to the next stage of understanding the life cycle of the tutor, which we are going to handle next.